Sprocket and chains use a rotary motion input in the form of a sprocket to drive a chain that spins a rotary motion output sprocket. The direction of motion does not change as all sprockets on the chain follow either clockwise or counterclockwise depending on the input. Similarly to simple gears, torque and speed is dependent on the size of the gears, or in this case, sprockets. A smaller input sprocket connected to a bigger output sprocket will increase torque and decrease speed. Flip it to a bigger input sprocket connected to a smaller output sprocket, and speed is increased while torque is decreased. Sprocket and chains do work in both directions, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Additionally, the flow of power is reversible as an output can become an input. Compound configurations can be made with multiple chains in one system or multiple sprockets on one axle. This will help change the torque and speed similar to what we learned about with compound gears. This is especially useful in situations where speed or torque need to be changed, such as the gears on a bicycle. Additionally, the chain aspect of the sprocket and chain allows the input, the pedals, to be far away from the output, the back wheel.